지금 다운로드 받으세요. 웰컴 백 가이즈 투더 SSL 챌린지 그룹 C. And we are about to jump into yet another game. It'll be game number 25 of 30. How can that even be? Another game. <laughs> <laughs> a 25th we game. We got more after this one, too, artists. It's kind Art of artists. Artists. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've come to. Thanks, Blondies. Artists. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got Beyond vs. Impact. Now, I've looked at a bunch of the, the sets, and we've kind of come to the conclusion that Impact, Rogue, or Deer could all get out of this group. Yep. I'm not sure if Beyond can like if he has a chance to not get out like if he lost all three games would he still get through i'm not 100 percent. he has a lot of away wins so i think it's definitely possible that he gets out still but I'm, i think he gets out still yeah. i didn't really look at that one but what i have determined oh. is that impact rogue and deer all have a chance to get out based on how the games go here yeah they absolutely do uh beyond is almost locked almost locked and he's going into runes of Endion against Impact, so probably feeling pretty good about this one for Beyond. Yeah, it's it's definitely a map that the Zergs have had a ridiculously hard time against the Terrans on, but Impact has shown some very strong play even when behind. Maybe he can do it. Let's jump into it right now, game number 25 on runes of Endion. No surrender, no trigger, fingers go, live in the dangerous life. We are on Runes of Endion. I've been liking this map so far. It's been creating some fun games. And here we have Beyond, yeah. the Terran player. Runes of Endion is uh, its definitely a, a, a very different map. Oh, here's a Zerg player. Yeah. What's his face? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy with the glasses? You know. Yeah. Impact. Yeah. The new Zerg boy wonder. Um, but yeah, Runes of Endion is like... It's very drop friendly and uh, very easy to secure four bases. Just like drops are so good, it's it's hard to hold on to everything, I guess. So yeah, and look at this uh, impact actually taking a page out of Rogue's book and saying, "I'm not going to get taken by any three racks reaper shenanigans." Yeah. You Beyond does one three racks reaper, and everyone does this for the rest of the night. Person <laughs> sounds like a solid investment plan. Yeah, if I were Beyond, I'd do that every time. Yeah. Do one crazy cheese in your first two games, and then, you know, you just sit back and play macro games the rest of the yeah. night. You're, you're going to be in a good spot. People playing defensive against him nonstop here. I think Impact feels like he can beat Beyond in a longer game here. It's just and how much damage does Beyond do early? Yeah. Do you have confidence that he can? Yeah. Like, here's what I'm worried about. I think Beyond will probably go into, like, the double medevac play very quickly that we've seen so much, like the quick stim, two medevacs, start start harassing. If Impact can really shut that down, that's step one. Step two is, can you actually secure a fourth base and actually be mining from it? Like, that is really hard against Beyond, and that is Beyond even never more hard you. on this map. Yeah. Because see, Beyond is doing that build. Great build for the map. Second rack's on the way. He's going to he's gonna get stim. He's going to go into medevax. So that's like the two-step thing for impact. Defend against the, the early two medevax. Keep a fourth base. Yeah, and I'd like to see him try to break down those rocks and take that fourth base. Yes. I feel like that's easier to defend against Beyond. It's just killing those rocks is really hard with Zerglings. Yeah, really, it takes really a while. Hard. Takes like, what, 30, 45 seconds on the new timers? It's quite a well, while. I guess it matters how many links you have, right? Yeah, it's if true. If it's two links, it takes longer than that. I'm like, <laughs> it could be anywhere from like, I don't know, 10 seconds to a whole three minutes, guys. Yeah. We do see Beyond is breaking down the rocks here once again. All right. Both speeds being gotten, so he's going to know what's going on at least. So that's going to really help him against this the early harassments. Again, putting a little bit of damage on those rocks with the Reaper. Yeah, I like it. You know, it stops any run-bys while you're going for your build. You don't need to go by ground because you have double medevac. So, you might as well. It's it's just a good strat to do. Ooh, quick lift there. 
denies any scouting. Oh, all right. That Overlord speed about to finish. A decent group of speedlings popping out. Decent? Yeah, decent. It's not like yeah. too much. It's not going crazy. He basically knows what's going on. There's a reactor building on that factory. He knows. Seen it a million times before. Mm -hmm. These lings are actually getting in before he finishes breaking the rocks. So that's kind of a useful thing. Should be able to come up here and take oh, out both yeah. of them. That was very clever. He actually split his lings into three groups to make sure he got it. Really cute. Now he's got a Banely Nest on the way as well as more lings. Does he want to try to get aggressive here? Because he knows that Byung cannot break the rocks right now. He's got that's map true. control. He can't get over there. Oh, that's a great point, Valdez. Like, he can't finish the rocks. And this is wide open. He doesn't have buildings down here. Byun was counting on having the rocks down already. Yeah, and that's part of this build. You know, you're, you're going to move your Marines away, but you're going to have the defense of the map. And now he no longer can. You can see he's making supply depots. He has to stick at home. Obviously, the two medevacs aren't out yet. But he sees this many lings, and he's like, oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> you silly goose, you. <laughs> you silly goose, you. That's exactly what he's thinking. Yeah. 12 Banes on the way, able to bust through a lot with that. But the two medevacs plus Stim are going to be done, and we've yeah. seen what Byung can do Look, targeting he's, Banelings. He's setting up a wall for his bunker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he should go for the drop here. You yeah, he's going to be in trouble defend. now. He's going to have to turn around. Oh, man. And now everything's in the medevacs, so and the bunker isn't finished. Here we go. Oh, boy. Going to knock that down very quickly. Stim is complete, and he is trying to focus down all those banelings, and he's so good at that. He needs to get a couple more, and that he does. And there you go. He's going to clean it all up. His focus fire is silly. Like, he nailed every single baneling there. That was so, so important. 20 more lings on the way, but I don't know what that's going to do. Not much. I mean, he's going to have a hard time re remaking that many Banes. I think he made 14. Yeah. And now he's making more Medivacs. He's getting more add-ons even for more production to come out here. He kept the majority of his Marines alive, so next time he's going to have a big, even larger force. Mm -hmm. Back at home, Impact is 33 drones. So if this doesn't work, Ooh. bad spot for yeah, him. Yeah, he has to do something. 39 SCVs out for Beyond at the moment. Like, he has to get some additional damage done. Okay, the medevac sees exactly what's going on. A lot of banelings yeah. on the way. I love when Terrans do that, by the way, you know? Yeah. There's there's no, you know, sometimes the other Terrans, lesser Terrans would just sit in their base and wait. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe he's coming. But you might as well use the medevac. Nothing's going to attack air. <laughs> oh, a couple of liberators coming. Those really can mess up the plans of impact as well. Yeah, but, like... Oh boy, that, that is a lot of banes, but you can see how fast he focus fires them down. He just shift clicks them, and he immediately lifts up. It looks like he yeah. gets well, out with the majority of those. Yeah, he really does, and the few left do like explode another baneling or two, so pretty good. Stimming out again, trying to get some more banelings here. And the lings coming forward. If the banelings are Man. too far behind, he just easily trades with the medevacs. Yun's micro here is just off the hook, out of control. Snipes another bane, picks up. Has to be careful, although it, now with the Liberators out, I, I don't think this works ever. No, that's pretty much it. Look at that. Drones are already being made back at home here. Yeah, second but, he sees that Liberation. Now zone. look at this. He has a bunch of Marines and Medivacs. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, he does save everything. Or he plays with fire all the time. I yeah. love it. Down to the last Baneling. He always snipes one just before it hits him. Banelings oh. trying to go into the mineral line. Maybe he can get some SCVs here. No, he will. He's going to get five. Maybe a couple more here. Seven. Seven. Eh. Not bad. Yeah, it's like technically we have more drones right now, but... The only thing is that he uses all those Banelings that won't be able to defend now. So Yeah, he just doesn't have enough to do anything. Now that he's cleaned up the Lings here, just like boost across the map, and it's Ling Bane being made when you're on a low drone count against a bunch of medevacs of Marines. And you can see he's not going to have much at home because he has remade a, a ton of drones. He's gone up to 47. Not a ton, but he's struggling to get to an acceptable number at this point. And it's not a good space to be in as the Zerg. Look at this. Liberator even chases these overlords in. And, oh, he has to pick up. So that was good. That Baneling kind of forced him back for a moment. Saves the overlords yeah. as well. It was like the first time that Byun wasn't absolutely perfect on his micro mm -hmm. against the Banelings. I'm like, oh. You missed one, Bjorn. <laughs> you missed one. Well, he's going to take Good a transfuse here. there. Yeah. Dropping yeah. in the main again. 
Very good, like, control from uh, Impact as well. There's not so much you can do with slow veins and whatnot, but, like, for instance, his queens transfusing there and everything. Uh, uh, he's having some good plays. He just lost 10 SCDs. I don't know how that happened. You know what? He had snuck two Banes in when Bion left, so he must have made him into Banes. Because Bion, like, chaselings after he killed his rocks and just two got away, I noticed, so I think that was it. Makes sense. Still harassing with a small group of units here. Yeah. He's got his third base about to finish. This is, uh, this is kind of weird because those 10 SCVs that got killed kind of shift the game a little bit. Oh, I yeah. want to say. It could have been a Baneling drop as well, I guess, but I think it was actually the two links that were left. Uh, but beyond this very low on SCVs, he's only got 41. Drones are not really that good either, though, at 56 for three bases. Not the type of economy you want on Zerg. Yeah, and uh, he's definitely w going to want to take this fourth base sometime soon, but with the constant pressure that Byung puts on, we talked about this before, it's always incredibly hard because mm -hmm. you're just struggling to stay alive while he gets further and further ahead with his aggression. And now this is a very big number of Marines coming in here. Yeah, he's uh, having to pick him up, though. This is good Ling surrounds, trying to get the Banelings on top of him. The Queen's coming to pressure Medivacs as well. So Impact is, like, making uh, good usage out of what he has, even though what he has is, like, just kind of weaker than what Bion has. And another Baneling drop coming in. This time it is scouted. Not going to do damage. And only now are combat shields finishing up, by the way, 10 minutes into the game. <laughs> I think he may have forgotten that. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> Picks off a medevac right there. Really on top of keeping these queens targeted. Trying to pull all the units back into his low ground marines. It's so annoying when you're playing just Ling Bane. Yeah, really looking the control out of impact as well. You know, we talked a lot uh, about Byun's impact, and I know you talked a little bit about impacts. All right, did I say Byun's impact? Yeah. Whoa. He definitely has a big impact, though. <laughs> control. His control. But, his uh, his I, big impact is gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said that earlier. I know, as yeah. Well. Um, but yeah, I mean, the way he pulls his queens forward and keeps everything else back, but then once the marines step a little bit too far forward, he pushes, you know, just five banelings forward, so he's not losing too much, and he pulls the queens back and transfuses at the same time. It looks easy. It's incredibly hard to do. Mm -hmm. You know, just controlling your group of units that. Precisely. Precisely, exactly. That yeah. cleanly. Right now we do have that 2-2. Two -two. Going to be finishing up for Byun pretty soon, way ahead of impact. So that's really, really painful once again. That it, More and more he's relying on good Baneling hits. But he does have Baneling speed at least to try to get that done. These rocks all being done is very... It's something that Byun is abusing very well. Like, he can't run around and kill that low ground Ooh. army. So like this is like almost an invincible position for Byun. Yeah, he's just chilling, trading over and over, continuously getting ahead. Does get a, a supply block here, but he's making four supply depots back at home. And finally, we see this fourth base coming down for impact. You know, he was always having to... Well, this is a meta back here. He was always having to deal with the pressure that he could never really get stuff over there to kill the rocks until mm -hmm. now, and then take the expansion. So, has been a rough spot for impact. Tries to drop some Banelings here. Doesn't quite work out. Spire is about to finish. Do you think he'll make some Corruptors? I don't think he'll make Mutas. Uh, it's... Like, I guess he could make Mutas because he actually has a big gas bank. So yeah. maybe he makes, like, 10 and tries to harass a little bit, keep Bion off his back so he can take his additional base. Corruptors are really good against this kind of harass, though, with the, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, they're really good at taking out Medivacs. That Staying sort of alive. thing. <laughs> yeah. He let's doesn't have see. enough minerals. It is Corruptor, yeah. yeah. Not too surprised. Dark is his teammate, let's not forget. Yeah, that's true. It's a good move. Now he's broken down these rocks and he can deal with this a bit easier. A bit easier. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... Gun is making it feel like it might have been a mistake right now. Poking and get rid of the creep. That fourth base, he is dropping. That's not going to be able to do anything, though. Bion's such a hard player to play against, man. Mm -hmm. The second you move away, he drops again. You think he was done? His multitasking is some of the best. I mean, it really is. He's it always really is. everywhere at any time. And he does start to attack in here. The Banelings, a uh, few good hits in there. There are Widow Mines, so he's got to be careful. Good spread by Bion. Runs back in immediately. 
Corruptor's starting to hatch. There's a drop in the third base. Not sure exactly what's going on with that. The Observer's on his ninth hour as well. <laughs> exactly. Well, some of these units do get caught. A lot of Vyun's units are actually coming across the map right now, and that's when it's going to look really one-sided. This is the last of Impact's army, and you can see the splits here from Byun. He's trying to run away from the Banes, and that he does. And that's it. GG. Byun wow. takes the win. All right. And Byun is through 100% with that win. Uh, we don't have to even guess anymore. And look how happy he is. <laughs> that it's is awesome like to see someone you know, go through an entire day of games like this and just let it all go. The relief, the happiness. Okay, really Impact, good. five losses. Rogue, five losses. Deer, four losses. Oh, boy. Uh, we only have one more game for Rogue. For Deer, we actually have quite a few. We have three more games. And for Impact, we have two more games. So all of these guys are still in this, like all three of these. We have two that are already through, though, Alive and Beyond. Yeah. So two Terrans. Uh, Jokchi absolutely not making it, so not every Terran advancing. Yeah. The last two times, we had three Terrans advance, max number. The second time, we had every Terran advance, <laughs> which was one. Yeah, this time we have two true. out of three. Oh, I give you the bad pen. Sorry. <laughs> give me this pen is dead. Why? Did, yeah, I don't know. This pen is out it's of the group. It's still alive. I don't know why it's here. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna throw it in this. That bag. won zero away games today. That pen. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Alive I think it won like one game on the sheet. Yeah. Jokchi I have one more is game. out. We are finishing this up really quickly at this point, guys. Impact versus Deer will be next. Yeah, this is a big match. If Impact takes a loss, then it's going to come down to Rogue versus Deer. Yes. To yes. decide who comes through there. And I, I think we might have to only play two more games.